Hi everyone, this is Prema, working as Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science, Kaiser College of Arts and Science for Women, Thirshingur. Today we are going to learn about Java programming concepts like arrays, strings, vectors, interfaces, packages, uh, threads, applet programming. First we are going to discuss about array strings and vectors. What is mean by array? An array is a group of continuous or related data item that shares a common name. A particular value in an array is inserted by writing a number called index number or subscript in a bracket after an array name. The individual values are called elements. Arrays are classified into two types. They are one dimensional array and two dimensional array. A list of items can be given in a one name using only one subscript is called a single subscript variable or one dimensional array. Next we are going to see about two dimensional array. A two dimensional array we can store a table of values like a matrix format. Next we are going to see about strings and vectors. A strings, a strings represent a sequence of characters. It can represent it in a two ways. They are using character array and using strings object or string buffer classes. Next, we are going to see about vectors. A vector class contains in a Java dot util package. A vector class is used to create a generic dynamic array known as a vectors that hold an object of any type and any numbers. It is a heterogeneous data and not a homogeneous one. Next we are going to see about interface. Interface are basically used to develop user defined data types. With represent to interface we can achieve the concept of multiple inheritance. With interface, we can achieve the concept of polymorphism, dynamic binding and we can improve the performance of a Java programming in terms of the memory space and execution time. An interface is a construct which contains the collection of purely undefined methods of or an interface is collection of a purely abstract methods. Next, we are going to see about packages. A package is a collection of classes, interface and sub packages etc. A learning about Java is nothing but learning about various packages. By default one predefined package is imported for each and every Java program whose name is java.lang.pointersymbol. There are two type of packages they are predefined packages or user defined packages. A predefined uh, packages is also known as built-in or core packages. User defined data packages is also known as secondary or custom packages. Next we are going to discuss about multi-threaded programming. A flow of control is known as thread. If a program contains a multiple flow of control for achieving a program, a life cycle of a threads. A newborn state, a runnable state, running state, a break state and death state. Next we are going to discuss about managing errors and exception. A program runs successfully as its very attempt. It is common to make a mistake while developing as well as typing a program. An error may produce incorrect, incorrect output or may terminate the execution of the program abruptly or even cause the system to crash. Types of error. There are two types of errors. They are compile time errors and run time error. A compile time error occurring because of a poor understandable of the language. A run time errors which, was, uh, which are occurring in a program is uh, when we are giving a output is a uh, sorry while we are giving an input is a invalid data. Next we are going to see about exception. An exception is a condition that caused by a runtime error in the program. The exception handling is a mechanism of converting system error message into user friendly messages. The mechanism suggests incorporation of a, of a separate error handling code that performs the following tasks. Find the problem. Uh, inform the inform that the error has occurred. Receive the error information takes the corrective activeness. Next we are going to see about applet programming. Applet are the small Java program that primarily used in the 
internet computing they can be transferred over the internet from one computer to another and run using a applet viewer or any web browser that supports a java programming an applet can be perform arithmetic operation play sound displays graphics accept the user input create the animation and place the interactive games thank you